Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Froese. This is BMO News Night. The latest developments from the Council of the European Union from a BNN colleague, Alexandra. The attack on the oil and gas pipeline network in the Black Sea seems to have the disastrous impact on the European economy. Short cards in oil and gas supplies threaten with gasoline and heating disturbances in countries such as Bulgaria, Romania, Spain, Portugal, Greece and even Germany. Other EU members like France are concerned about the further decrease of the European economy. The problem is huge. Um, we're seeing um, incredible demands of oil, um, for example, in Romania, in Greece, and in many other countries within the European Union, not able to now heat their homes. As you know, winter is here, and yeah, we see this as a, a, serious, a serious problem at the moment. The Council of the European Union has been holding an urgent session on the matter for the second day. Even Lithuania backs the development of cooperation with Russia, the idea receiving the overall support from other EU member states. Germany, that denied any further development of the North Stream pipeline project just a few months ago, is considering the construction of the new line. I do, th I do believe that there looks like there are prospects for further de development on this. Um, I don't know if it would be effective to handle our crisis right now, though. The EU states also consider increasing gas imports from Norway. Right now we will try to negotiate with Norway if more supplies of gas and oil could be produced. Okay. Thank you, Alexandra. And now we turn to the ICJ. Today we expect the ICJ to reach a decision in this week's trial. We've covered the conflict and even though the discussions were intense and engaging, it's not expected that the parties will change their initial positions. We expect a favorable judgment as argumentation was very clear and Iraq reached several humanitarian laws and, well, the ICJ is a very just court. Uh, I'm convinced that at least some of the topics that were uh, treated in the judgment or will be treated in judgment will be in favor of our party. Once again, BMO News Night had the opportunity to get some insight into the decision-making process. We will show you what a member of the jury had to say. Their writings, because they had to submit um, write-ups before, before, uh, before the pleadings, it pretty much stayed the same and they're, the same. they're, pre they're pretty um, steadfast on their, on, on their points and on their positions. Great report so far. We have more and will now go to Sokum to hear from Alexandra. And now we're coming to the breaking news from the Sokum. Uh, the delegates of the United States and Uganda are going to tell us about the new alliance that is going to be formed. We are going to sign a bilateral agreement between the United States and Uganda to, uh, in which the uh, United States is going to give us a lot of money and supplies to try to help all the refugees that there are in our country because of the war in, 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 in Congo. We are going to transfer know-how and we are going to send over 1,500 professionals to help the government of Uganda. This afternoon, our reporter Alexandra had quite an interesting conversation with participants from Ghana. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today in our studio we have special guests. Uh, the delegation from Ghana, like three people, uh, who heard about Moon. Actually, in Ghana, um, we've not had any Moon conference, so I'm sure we haven't experienced this one. We'll go back to Ghana and then sell the idea to them. It is our hope that probably in the next two, three years to come, we also have this wonderful conference in Ghana. When we talk to people here about what Ghana, the perception that they have about Ghanaians or Africans per whole, mm -hmm. people are not beginning to understand how Ghanaians are. And when we came here, our cooperation with some of your people, how we move with you, how we do things, how we go about you, they are seeing what Africa is, what Ghana is. And we brought in Ghana here, and we have met a lot of people to see Ghana as a sign of a symbol for Africa. Because when, when everyone travels from Europe or America to Ghana, they say Ghana is the gateway to Africa. Thank you, Alexandra. Now, after all of the hard work that has been done, we have some entertainment for you. Hello, I'm Alexandra Ovchinikova on the last Bimon Day. I wanted to share one observation with you. You must remember this famous quote by Oscar Wilde who said, I choose my friends for their good looks and my enemies for their good intellects. Uh, but what do you have to do if a person combines both qualities? I personally feel quite perplexed. I really don't know what you have to do, especially now at B Moon when people seem to combine both qualities. 
And I have spoken to many of you on the serious issues and global politics. And now I just would like to hear you on the good looks. I have chosen this outfit because I consider it best matches my eyes. I chosen those clothes because pink is also for men. I chose this clothes because I like it very much. Thank you. I'm choosing these clothes because I'm a Muslim girl and I like wearing a feel. I've chosen these clothes because it's cold. Thank you ladies and gentlemen. The reason why I chose these clothes is to further perpetuate American stereotypes. Today's Green Conference question has been How many Google searches consume the same amount of energy which is needed to light a light bulb for one hour? 300,000? Maybe around 80,000 to um, 1 million? Maybe just one. It's probably like 1 million or even more. And the answer has been 7 Google searches. We have a lot of interesting content for you today and I hope you enjoyed that. We will conclude the day once again with thoughts of the day. I'm John Froese, this was Beemo News Night. Good night. Well, my thought of today is moonwalking. <laughs>